motion to motion. call the meeting to order? Second. Second. Right, motion by Amy, second by Shardul. I'll just roll call it. Andy? Yes. Amy? Yes. Shardul? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. This is Finance Committee for Thursday, March 28th, 2024. And in attendance is Andy Kopaki, uh, Shardul Parmar, David Phil, and Amy Fighting. And uh, all votes will be taken via roll call, and this is being recorded. All right. So, um, did everybody get a chance to look at, over the minutes that uh, Amy sent over for last week? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Amy. Welcome. And Amy, do you remember what the dates on those were, so we can approve? Sure. Those? The dates were uh, one twenty-five. Um. Uh, two eight. Thanks. Two eight three twenty one and three at uh, three fourteen and three twenty one. Yeah. Okay. So if I could just get a motion to approve those minutes. Motion to approve those minutes. There was one sniggly little thing. Well, yep. I the files, my the, the, the files and the dates were 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 reversed on a couple of them. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. So other than that, I would approve those as. As modified. Which ones, Andy, so I can fix it? 21st and, and the 14th. Oh, I just have to fix the dates on those. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Is it okay to approve those like that as, as long as it's just changing the file name, basically? Okay. All right. So we had a motion by Shardul. If I could get a second. Second as modified. All right. Uh, motion by Shardul, second by Andy. Any discussion on approving those minutes? All right. I'll roll call. Andy? Yes. Amy? Yes. Shardul? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. All right. Uh, go back to the agenda. All right. We have a final review of FY25 town budget. The committee will discuss the FY 2025 town budget in detail and may take votes on the recommended budget. Um, all right. So how do you want to start? Do you want to lend it a well, I guess first, Linda, has there been any changes anywhere as far as since we No, worked? no, there have been um, there have been a, a, a few requests and she mentions that this might be this line or whatever might be tight. Uh, but uh, Carolyn has been pretty consistently saying, let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Um, as as we have found, you know. Every, it, that m most who feel they might need some more money, they may need it or they may not, but they won't all of them need it. So if we come up short, we'll hear from those uh, departments in the fall and you may uh, you may hear from them either in the form of a reserve fund transfer or if it comes soon enough that it would be uh, a request for a slight increase to their budget in the fall. But it's 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 more along the lines of, I'm not sure there, uh, there's enough, um, the electricity might go up, I'm not sure I have enough in the fuel budget, things like that. So, so we'll keep an eye on those. But no actual changes were made to that entire column, uh, which is Carolyn's town administrator recommended budget. I, I have a question. I use is that with the one ninety staying in um, the OPEB? That um, Carolyn's recommendation has not changed. It's not yes, changed. That's correct. Um, I later, and I don't know when to discuss this, and I'm thinking it might be later. But I think we need to just have an idea um, going in. You know, once we vote, what what we're expecting in this special town meeting as far as um, monies that we're going to need out of the free cash, just so we have an idea because we're using a lot of the free cash. So I don't know if we can have some, if we know any of it or like an, just an estimate. Well, there were no colas. Cola. So there would be, a, at the very least, colas would be introduced at the fall town meeting. Okay. Um, and... Carolyn, more. There, yeah, there will be. Um, these are not hard numbers, but I do think it, it is important that you're aware of what the results of the compensation plan um, and compensation study is. And again, we're really trying to get this set in place that we follow it every year. But the initial impact, it is estimated this is not getting everybody at the top of the range. 
Um, the, the select board has been very um, methodical about reviewing it. Um, it has not been settled. It has not come out of executive session, but I do think it's important for you to know that we are looking at possibly about $150,000, which we would need in the fall. Please don't hold me to that number. I just think you need to have an, exactly what you're asking for, Amy, is some kind of basis of what we're looking at. Is, mm -hmm. is that a number that gets people in their, uh, I guess, expected salary range, or is this a phased approach to get them there? Right now, it is getting that at, at, at a level that the select board feels is, is um, within market range, but I, I just can't go into detail because it's still an executive session. But you, I think it's fair enough that you're hearing that number could be, would be a good working number. With, with a little bit of movement, if the select board makes some different changes or recommendations. And then, and, then, and that's the gross number for all, all, all departments positions. Those are hourly rate numbers, yes. Okay. And then I just had a question. Uh, not sure if this is going to affect 25 or if this is coming out of 25. Four, but I know that the select board approved some bridge work or bridge demolition um, off River Drive. Is that going to affect the, I guess, where's that money coming out? Is it coming out of the DPW budget for this year, next year? What's, where's that coming from? Um, Scott's not here. To, I, I'm pretty sure I can say pretty sure that I think it's within his budget. Okay. But so, I'm, again, Scott, we need to ask Scott that directly. All right. I'm just wondering, is it an FY24 thing or is this something that- I'm sorry, FY, this, the present the present year. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I guess any other questions or suggested changes for the FY25 budget at this point? No? Okay. Linda uh, or Carolyn, either one, can you just- kind of refresh us on our trend on OPEB and free cash, because I know those were some of the priorities we had talked about. And so just to kind of see, you know, if we vote this in as it's written, you know, where, where does that kind of fall as far as our, our process of? Those are two different questions? Yes. The OPEB, the o OPEB okay. and the free cash utilization, just to kind of see how we're trending with that. Right. Um, we did have a uh, lengthy, probably half hour or so, 45 minutes uh, presentation from our uh, advisors at the last select board meeting. And I know that two of you were there, uh, Andy and David, and I know that Amy watched it as well, um, that uh, the plan is, if you're asking what our trend is at this point, we are on a, a plan to increase it by $10,000 each year. Uh, this is still not the level that we were before COVID. We had been, uh, we had reached a peak of 265,000 a year. We backed it off completely one year and then started building it back up again. Um, but rather than um, go back up too quickly, we're doing it at 10,000 a year and that seems to be uh, still working for us. Um, and there is a suggestion that we continue to, to build that. Uh, a higher rate would be, uh, Nice, they say, but this this is good. We're doing it. Um, so next year, we would be asking for two hundred, and then two hundred and ten thousand the following year, and um, and and that's a, a it's a reasonable showing. So uh, we are in. If you watched it, we are in the top twenty five percent. Was it? I think that he said of of those uh, across the state. Or in the top quarter of those maintaining their uh, the level of contribution that they should be for funding their unfunded funded liability, um, there are some that feel like that's great. We don't have to be that great, but I do remind people at the level that we are talking about, Hadley doesn't have a lot of give for if we are off or if we get behind. We don't have, we can't like other larger communities just reach into another fund and bring it over and fix it. We have to, it's better for us to stay slow, stay slow and steady and keep on going because that is our only means of making contribution. 
and then uh, free cash. Uh, it, it's, did Susan have a question on? Oh, I don't know. Oh, just said. Okay. Susan, your hand is up. Maybe she doesn't mean it. Okay, and then the trend on uh, use of free cash. Uh, let me, I'm going to have to go back to the budget book. It's been a while. <laughs> we are uh, reducing our free cash this year. If you look at the top chart on your sheet, um, which is the uh, finance committee sheet uh, I sent out at a terribly late hour this afternoon, but it's one that you will have uh, and be able to keep working with if you, if you, uh, if you had wanted to. Uh, last year we used 1.1 million in free cash. This year we are using 750,000. The idea is that we decrease it each year, but I don't want to be to misrepresent uh, this. The certified free cash used in the 24 budget was after the fall town meeting, and we already know we have some expectations that we will be using more money this coming fall town meeting. We would hope that we would still keep it on a downward swing, however. Um, if if it is if Carolyn's suggestion is that it's 150,000 um, more and there's not other requests that would still be at 900,000 total for the FY20 budget that we'd be using in free cash, which would still be uh, 220,000 less than 24, and that's the direction that we need to be going in. Our our income, our revenues are nicely increasing each year. And yet we can't take full advantage of the increases in revenues because we have to back off on the use of free cash, and that is offsetting that. Um, and, and so that's that's what we are actively working on each year with our recommendations to to have have this all come together. Hopefully, in the next few years, that we're we're back on track where our revenues coming in cover the expenditures of that year, and that when we do get an increase in revenues, that we're able to fully apply that to the budget. If, if that's what is decided by finance. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, anybody? Is, um, is this something, Carolyn, that you would like us to vote on to approve tonight, or is there a chance it may change before town meeting and we should wait? Uh, you're muted. Which, um, ask that again. Do you mean the, uh, what the, in particular? No, the, the budget to vote on the budget recommendation. Do you, is this something you would like us to vote on? I, I, I don't think it's going to change that budget. Do you, Linda? I don't see it. I think what they, the, at least that they need to do at this point is make a recommendation to the select board that you recommend this to them. So if the select board was to start wrestling with one of these issues or whatever, um, I can see where they might want to invite finance committee back in, or they might want to change their recommendation at this point. But if if you're in agreement with the budget now for going along to the select board, I think that you should go ahead and take that vote and recommend it to the select board or, or, or make it your recommendation okay. subject to, you can always change it later. Okay. Amy, you had something? Yeah, I would like to, um, I wouldn't, I, I'd rather not vote on the actual recommendation that goes into the warrant because um, everyone is probably going to be available on the 11th and that way Paul can have, so we can have a um, five, five or a five vote um, and all be in agreement, but I would, um, I'm, I'm comfortable with making a recommendation uh, to the select board um, to say that we've reviewed it and this is uh, what we're leaning towards. So I would make a right. I'll I'll put a motion out there. I'll make a motion to recommend to the select board, the, the with top. our final vote being on the 11th of April. Yeah. The, the, just to be clear, it's the town administrator's uh, proposed FY. Correct. Sorry. Okay. No. If I can just before you before you take that vote, they won't be meeting. They'll be meeting Wednesday, but we've already posted for Wednesday. I can amend it tomorrow if that's what you want to do, and to to have uh, David make a recommendation on the agenda. I, I guess 
I wouldn't mind recommending it to the select board just to give them something to work with in the meantime and have you guys for you guys to have something to work with and not be thinking we're going to make changes on you or, or do anything else. Mm -hmm. and then once Paul is back, I think next meeting, I mean, we have to vote on the entire warrant anyway, so we can make the warrant recommendation at that time if that works. Okay, so put it on for. Uh, I, I mean, it's Wednesday. it's up to you whether you want to put it on the select board's agenda right away, or if you just want the uh, you know the go ahead from us at this point, so that way you know what you're working with in the meantime. And whenever the select board gets to it, they get to it. Yeah, I think that's fine. You mean and, and wait till Paul's present to vote to make the yeah, yeah for the okay. Warrant. Yeah, we want to make sure select board has enough time with it, right? Because it's April third to May. May 2nd is still just four, four weeks that they would have it. So yeah, you want to get it to them whenever you're ready to do that. All right, so I had a motion by Amy. I get a second. Second. You're muted. Motion by Amy, second by Shardul. Any other discussion on making uh, this recommendation for the budget to the select board. All right, I'll, I'll roll call. Andy? Yes. Amy? Yes. Shardul? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. Okay. So we'll move on to uh, liaison reports, number four on the agenda. Capital Planning Committee. I'm going to defer this to Carolyn. I was not at Capital Planning last night. So. Oh, yeah. uh, if oh, you yeah. want to give a quick overview. He wasn't there. So you want to know what their vote was? Yeah, and just oh. what they're working on there. Just an update. Okay. So if um, we have uh, of the financial articles, one, two, three, four, five, six of them are related to capital. And those were taken up by, uh, have been taken up by uh, the Capital Planning Committee at their meeting that, that you were in attendance uh, bef uh, before this one, David, they voted on four of them at that time. That would be Article 5, the Water Plant Filter Filtration Stabilization Fund, moving 150000 into that account. They approved the uh, Article 16, which is the Fire Department Ladder Truck at $2 million. Uh, they uh, had very little discussion on that because they had approved this last time, and it's actually a lower uh, lower amount uh, this time. Um, the fourth, the third one they uh, had recommended at the earlier meeting was Article 18, the DPW Drinking Water Asset Management Plan, for $155,000, uh, 93,000 of which is a grant, 31,000 in water reserves, 31,000 in um, in kind contribution. And the fourth one they approved was the uh, MVP grant for East Street, one where we put in 250,000 and the grant is for 750,000. What they took up last night then uh, primarily was the water tanks. Um, that is the large one. That's our $9 million article, um, which we will probably want to get into tonight. Actually, you haven't voted on any of them, so you'll want to talk about all of them tonight, I imagine. What was not taken up last night, and uh, we won't really be able to take up tonight either, is article the article regarding purchase of property, um, because the select board still have to um, meet. Uh, that's Article 15, right? Um, article 15, uh, purchase of property. Uh, the select board has to meet on that. Uh, in open session and take a vote next Wednesday. So the uh, Capital Planning Committee is going to meet again on April 11th, which is the same night that you're planning to meet, but they're gonna meet at five and you're meeting at six. Uh, they are going to uh, be prepared to vote on that final capital article. And uh, that's where they stood. They asked a number of questions about the water tanks and I think that, was, that about covers their meeting. Good enough. Um, Amy, do you want to? You're the CPA liaison, right? Or is Andy? I am. Oh, Andy. All right. If you want to give an update on CPA. Yeah. Um, 
<clears throat> there were uh, two broad projects brought forward. Uh, there is uh, the Porter Phelps. Um, I'm going to, if they don't have my notes right in front of me, uh, but the uh, Porter Phelps Museum and, and a, it has a group together. Where they um, are looking to renovate the building that is, um, I think it's the Porter Phelps Farm, the Phelps Farm. Uh, and that is directly across the street on what I'm referring to as the old snow property. It's um, on the other side of River Drive, that uh, brown farmhouse in there. And they're looking to put a uh, basically weatherproofing proofing over the top. And there's a very extensive project um, that they've laid out and they have some professionals at UMass um, as well as involvement from the uh, several members of the Port of Phelps Museum that are uh, involved in in this project. Uh, it is a uh, apparently a rare find uh, building in uh, uh, that much uh, historical uh, features still intact. Uh, and they're looking for $150,000 to uh, stabilize the site. It's gonna be the first of probably multiple visits for CPA. Uh, and from a historical standpoint, uh, the CPA committee supported that. You'll, I invite you to uh, pay attention to that presentation when it comes um, to the meeting. Any questions on that? Is that the brown house with the tarp on the roof at the moment? Yep. Okay. It was, I think there was a uh, um, a falconry sign kind of near there yep. in the field <laughs> right, right after yep. it. Um, so, uh, right. yeah, Linda, Linda, you drive, you, you, Linda, David, you drive by it all the time. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Uh, yeah. And so that's Article 13. Um, I don't, sorry, I don't have the warrant right in front of me, so take your word for the word on that. And uh, the, uh, a late coming project was one for Town Hall. Um, where they're looking to stabilize some of the back steps, the concrete had split. Um, they're also looking to get a, a, a designer in there to help them um, assess the exterior and what could be the, um, what is the best approach to salvage what's there and and move ahead. I mean, you, you know, some of us may remember the uh, contentious vinyl siding days of 20 something years ago. So uh, in efforts to avoid that, um, uh, APW director brought forward uh, the idea of also bringing in um, you know, a design professional to help get the better specs on it. Uh, and Carolyn, was that 40 or 40,000, right? Or is it 45? 40, 40. is it what's in the warrant? Yeah, it's, and it's also for replacing the windows. Um, yes. And they they supported that, right, Andy? Yeah, yeah they did. did. It, it's it's um, weatherizing that historic structure that is in currently in use, trying to seal up the windows that are leaking right now and drafty, and and um, you know again what to do about the siding. Yeah, it's so. And just to let you know too, I am submitting a letter of interest, um, expression of interest for some funding um, from the historic the Mass Historical Society for. I think that's the I think that's the lead agency to do uh, the windows and the steps. They will not do siding; they will only do paint. And I know that uh, there is CPA has gotten uh, more comfortable with architectural types of siding, um, and I think the town in general would want to pursue that. But um, certainly, I think it's worth me applying to uh, see if we can get some some money so that that would free up CPA money for the future, but we'll see what happens. Um, there was also um, some extensions for the um, first congregational church projects. The, uh, both the tower and the clock. Um, you know, there's been some additional findings that um, involve more study before they're able to go ahead. Uh, when reviewing the tower. So that was voted to support those extensions. Um, we also had the treasurer's report um, and 
let's see, um, also put together a, uh, a little flyer for town meeting to talk about the projects that are in place and um, you know, what's been some of examples of what's been completed. And uh, you know what, um, and what is currently ongoing. Okay, thank you. Um, next, we have a review of the FY twenty five annual town meeting warrant. But um, if we want to go over it, we can. But I, I, like people have mentioned, let's wait to vote on it until next week when Paul's here. So if there's any questions on the warrant. We can cover that. Otherwise, we can wait until next week and just do it all then. All right, no one's jumping. So I guess we can, uh, for next week's agenda, I think the only thing we'll have is uh, recommendations for FY25 uh, town meeting warrant. All right. And yeah, then, and David. Hi. I do want that you think about the um, the uh, where the funding is going to be coming from, and that I hope is the sheet that I uh, also sent out by email that we are proposing some use of stabilization fund or let's see borrowing borrowing for that two hundred fifty thousand of the million dollar short term borrowing. And we're talking about two million dollar debt exclusion borrowing for the for the uh, fire truck, and then the six point three borrowing for the water. So I don't. Are, are you comfortable doing all of that at the next time, or do you want to discuss, you know, get going on some of it now? Or are there any questions about where the funds are coming from? I did not have a chance to review that yet personally. Okay. All right. Um, then I will the time, but... right. And um, I and I as I look at it, um, I realize that we're asking. So the question is whether we want to, um, and you don't have the amount, but whether we will be taking the uh, purchase of the property out of stabilization or borrowing for that as well, or whether that two hundred fifty thousand that we need. Uh, to for the matching grant on East Street, whether we want to borrow that or we take that out of stabilization, which would be a little bit less. So um, I'll, I'll, you know, we'll have this I'll make the recommendations, and um, I think the biggest thing is to think about whether you're willing to take uh, a chunk of money out of stabilization funds. Yeah, I mean, for that piece of property, especially, I. Personally, I think yeah. that's a good use of it. It's it's a long term investment. But uh, as as far as the culvert, it, is it just the two hundred fifty thousand for? Uh, that's our portion of that. Is that what that is? Yes. All, all of it would yes. be stabilization. Right. Right. Or or borrowing. We can do short term borrowing, but as we talked about it the last time that we discussed this, it would be. Um, it would probably cut into the some of our ability to do more borrowing at the fall town meeting. So the capital, the, all the ones that I mentioned that the capital planning committee voted on, it, they vote on the uh, on the article and the project, but they but it's up to finance committee to vote to make the vote on the same articles with recommendations as to what the funding source would be. So um, so you have that extra level and it is going to be because of the use of the stabilization fund and uh, uh, select board is going to want some time on this too just to sort of warm up to the idea of, of using stabilization as we have before and then try to be making our plans as we have before to uh, pay that money back yeah so Are this, we, is, this is what it's for is the opeb is still coming out of uh, partially out of stabilization, correct? Uh, yes, 55,000 of that is uh, planned to be coming out of stabilization. Okay. All right. I mean, do we have any, Carolyn, do you know of any huge capital issues in the fall that are on the, I mean, we'll have the usual, I'm sure, police car and uh, any anything else that's on the horizon? 
Uh, I, I can't think of anything right now, David, but I hope to have our capital, long-term capital working group together um, to help me with a plan to, um, that will have some more specifics in what's coming up when. So all I can think of are these the ones that we're addressing now, as well as the DPW building and um, mm. whatever the results of the Russell School study is going to reveal that will probably be going to the annual town meeting for some choices so uh i guess you know we've we've been on done quite a bit of spending the last few years as far as capital items go and i know a lot of that was catch up and i know we don't want to fall behind but i think you know if we were to you know, take one of those out of short-term borrowing and the other out of stabilization, I think that would be a, a good compromise there and maybe buy a few less things this fall. And, uh, you know, you can certainly make the make the argument that especially the, uh, well, either of those projects are both capital items, you know, the, the culvert repair and the, the property purchase. So I think either one of them would fit under that and not affect taxes there, so. Sure. No, I, I would say the purchase is probably more on borrowing while the repair should probably be a, from because it's really a one time expense that we're going to do it once and not have to do it ever. Not worry. It's not going to come back or worry about it ever again. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, while the, you know, while the property is a long term asset that you can borrow against, I guess. Okay. So, so I, yeah. I'm not very, I'm not in favor of a really much coming out of stabilization, but they do, because we're earning so much and our earnings are pretty high right now, it is something maybe to look at. I really think that we should, if possible, try to stick to that $2 million. Um, because once we start dipping into it for different things, it's hard to, it, we saw that it was hard to put back. It's not easy and things are gonna, as it is, we're gonna need money in the fall. So I rather push more items further out of capital items and, and, and borrow um, and do stabilization as a last resort. That's just my opinion. What's our balance in stabilization right now, Linda? If you have it, candy. I do. So we are, uh, we have, we're almost at $2 million. I think we are at $2 million given the interest from last month. So we have, a, we have about $2 million in that account. And what's our uh, rough in interest earnings on that $2 million a year? Uh, we are on the stabilization. Uh, it's a, it's not an interest rate, David. It's a it's because it's invested in funds, and I can certainly um, I'll get I can get that to you. This has been a good year for uh, for this kind of fund, but I, I don't know off the top of my head how much we've made this year. But I think that's a uh, that's a good question to answer you for when you vote on it next time. How's that? I will write that down. Perfect. Thank you. Get the stabilization and in interest or income. I right. also apologize in case there's anything that if I this was mentioned in the past, but I'm always curious as to what's coming off. Um, you, you know, the uh, the borrowing um, as we move through, you know, which is there obviously probably a police cruiser. Um, what else is ending uh, that we're borrowing in a particular fiscal, fiscal year? Any other 10 or 20 year projects that are winding down? It's nice to um, know that that is, you know, I wouldn't say become available, but it is you know, money that can be repurposed. Well, for the water tanks, right? The water, the plan is that the water, the wells over on Bay, Bay Road are coming off. And so that, I guess that's part of the plan to pay for it is they kind of, it both can happen and not have a huge effect on, on the tax rate. Right, that's that's going to make a that's a huge factor in the discussion on the water tanks, as it does happen to coincide within a year of uh, three hundred thirty thousand between water and uh, debt. Um, 
uh, water and uh, general fund um, payments coming off, and and that much would be going back on for the tanks and a little bit, a bit more, about an extra thirty-five thousand, if our calculations are right. There's a lot of factors we don't know, but we had to at some point just make our best guess, and that's that, that's our working, um, those are our working figures at this point. So that's the biggest thing, Andy. I mean, we got a, you know, it's huge. It's coming off, and then we've got something huge going on. So um, as far as the other routine things coming off each each year, we have five hundred about five hundred thousand dollars of uh, principal being paid off, and um, in the in the short term, and that's what most of the borrowing that, that we're doing, unless it's debt exclusion, is now short term borrowing. So we have 500,000 come off each year. So we're looking to put about 500,000 on, except that when we have years and we go over that, that sort of cuts into what we can do over the next couple of years. And we've been pushing our limits the last couple of years. And especially when we do this, um, you know, if we're going to do the, two, the 250 or more borrowing uh, in the spring, we're really into what we were allocating for FY25 uh, budget borrowing. So um, yeah, we're pushing it. So one one possibility is that we um, we look again at within the debt and interest budget, increasing that amount um, for the twenty, not for twenty five. We might we might consider that in the fall. We might consider that as an addition, depending on what the free cash is that comes in um, that we're certified at as July one. Um, if you don't want to get into using free cash for um, regular operational and you put it in the debt and interest that we could be paying off a principal amount with that chunk of, of money, that would be actually a sort of a, a, a way of keeping the capital budget going and using the free cash in, in a, you know, a, a more direct way than, say, put it into the stabilization or save up for something in the future because that's not working. That's not working as well. So, so that's something that I will consider as asking as a means of allowing us to buy like a five hundred thousand dollar item. If we increase your budget by a hundred thousand dollars, the debt and interest, then we're borrowing five hundred. I'm discounting interest at the moment because it's easier. Um, then we've got a hundred thousand in the budget to cover that item into the next five years. So, um, that's a, a lot of number working to do um, with some of these new new items that have popped up this spring. All right, so for next week, we'll do the warrant review and recommendations, and then we'll talk about the funding sources for the property purchase and the culvert. We talk I thought April. we were going to do it on the 11th. I Unfortunately, I can't make next week. Oh, okay. So the 11th, then we'll do that. Um, did, Carolyn, does that give enough time for posting the warrant? I have to post the warrant a week ahead of time. I have more flexibility with your votes um, as far as that's concerned. I have to get I have to get the whole warrant in a, in a somewhat final draft to legal very soon. But the funding, um, well, actually, some of the articles you will have to be you will have to confirm the funding sources because um, that will reflect how it how the uh, the motion is worded. Okay. So. Um, so you're not voting next are you have a meeting scheduled for next week yeah we've been posting for every week but at so but you're trying to get a uh, a five member vote for the warrant articles right and amy's not going to be here next week yeah so do you see a need to meet next week uh that was my next question i i don't unless you guys foresee something coming up because if uh if a Amy's going to be here the 11th and Paul will be here, then we might as well wait till the 11th to wrap, wrap this all up. I would say that would be a, a, a good final meeting. All right. We have, um, from the schedule we had uh, worked out earlier, Carol, and I have the select board are finishing the warrant on the 17th. I know they meet on the 3rd and then the 17th. That was going to be their final meeting on all of this. Um, and then posting on the 24th. So a meeting on the 11th should work out with that. 
And David, I may have a reserve fund transfer. I'm not sure yet. That you'll need to do next week. Um, I no, I can do it. I can wait. Okay. I can wait to the um 17th. Or the 11th, yeah. 11th. <laughs> yep. Oh, the 11th. Yes, that's not next. That's not next week. Thank you. Sorry. Yep. Okay, so anybody on the committee see a need to meet next week? Otherwise, we'll skip next week. I know Paul would say let's skip it, so I'll put the vote in. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Look at the agenda real quick here. I think that was it. Did our OPEP thing get on the agenda or not? What? OPEP? We were going to put it on, talk more about it. I mean, I know we talked a, lot, a bit about it last time, but we were going to have a, uh, I guess we can wait till Paul's here as well. Yeah, let's let's uh, make a note. I'll put that on the for the 11th as well. Because it did not get on this one. All I have actually, left is unforeseen business. But Amy, good. Actually, for the agenda, could um, maybe on that particular topic, because there are quite a few other topics, since that's not going to really affect the warrant or the recommendations, I think that would be a great topic to spend more time with and put on an agenda after town meeting. You okay with that? Because I have yeah, a lot I mean, of other options. Uh, really, things. it doesn't affect it till next year's budget anyway, but I also yeah. kind of want to get the input from Carolyn and Linda since, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, about what the impact of, the, of having that information there um, would be. Andy, you know what might be helpful? Maybe you and I can touch base about specifically what you want, and then that, that might be helpful, and then I can bring it to the whole board if cool. David's okay with that. Yeah, I think I've left my number with uh, Jennifer for you. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that, that's fine. So uh, I won't put OPEB on the 11th then in that case. We can have a meeting after we get everything finalized. Yeah. We're in a meeting at some point, we'll have a meeting just to talk about OPEB and uh, those issues. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay. All right. If it, no one has anything else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right. I, I'll give the second to Amy. So motion by Sherdul, second by Amy. And I'll roll call it. Andy? Yes. Very important. Amy? Yes. Sherdul? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. Thank you, everyone. Good night.